So, here is the next pattern. It is called Deepy. Let me click on it so it gets a little bigger. There we go. It is one by Smita Toke. Uh, another loop pattern. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a loop with a wide base and a skinny little bit right there. So it's not a tall skinny loop. It's a wide, but it's not fat. It's wide at the bottom and skinny at the top. And then we're going to make a curve here. And then we're going to put like a leafy or a flame shape right there. And then that's your pattern right there. That's all it is right there. Now you can make it into all sorts of things. I, I'm seeing more than one thing out of it, but the sample shows it this way as little oil lamps of some sort, which is very, very cool. Um, but I don't think that's what I'm going to do with it. I, I like it, but I'm not sure that that's where I'm headed. So turn on my light. I'm seeing it more of a mandala style, so let's give that a go. I need to sharpen my pencil because it's gone dull on me here. Okay, pardon me. So I want to I need a couple of a couple of circles. Like that. Cause I think what I want to do is I want to do that. bigger? Perhaps I do. Okay, I think I want my outside circle bigger. So let's let's have a thought here. Outside circle is going to be bigger and then I want a circle here. Okay, this is my my it's my string. I've, got, I've just got a I've got a, a a small thought in my head, and I'm not sure it's going to work. So divide my tile. That should work. I hope it'll work. Approximately half, way right there. Okay, so now that I've created myself, because a lot of times when you do a mandala, you want to kind of plan out how it's going to go. Um, It wants to be drawn in purple. So this is my Micron PN pen in purple. It's got a different tip to it. It's a lot of plastic nib. So if you are heavy handed, a plastic nib one works really good. And I'm going to I'm gonna come up. And go that way.
like that. And then here, toward the middle, I'm going to make this flame shape. There we go. That didn't take long. Erase all my pencil marks. Sometimes pattern just tells me what it wants to do. That one said it wanted to be a mandala. Ah, I'm enjoying this. Um, I think it wants My husband was messaging me um, a video I, I did yesterday, which was actually recorded just a few minutes ago. He was messaging me and wanted to know some login information for Amazon. Now what are you buying? You're not supposed to buy anything for yourself Christmas. But he's bought Christmas lights to put on his bicycle. Okay, that's not something we any of us would think to buy for him. Because they're doing his Santa Claus run. Um, and he bought himself the other day a jersey that looks like a Santa suit. Because it was 60% off. Yeah, it was 60% off for a reason, but whatever. He's going to take this Santa ride. Uh, I don't know what day. Sometime. In December. I don't know if it's going to be a fundraising ride or not or what it is, but... case he's going to be very festive out there on the trail. He's going to be wearing a Santa suit and his bicycle is going to blink with Christmas lights. He will be festive. Can't say my husband doesn't have fun. He wants to do a ride on s next Saturday. He wants to ride with his friends from our house over to the river trail, down the river trail to the cemetery, and then he can decorate mom and dad's graves for Christmas. There are some of us who will go, but we are not riding our bicycles. We will just meet him over there at the cemetery.
We didn't, I don't think we went last Christmas. Mom and Dad did not get Christmas decor last year. It was just a crazy year. We never got that far. Let's see, what else do I want to do to this? Use some glamour tangling. Some glamour tangle techniques. Some scallops, fill those in. Some dashes. If you guys haven't gotten the book about glamour tangling yet, that is also available at Pattern Dash Collections. You should be able to just scroll down on the pattern page, I think. Let me look. Not with the, the whole window open, with the whole picture open, but when you're on the page that shows... Um, the pattern, yeah, you can. Okay, so when you're on this page, not when you've clicked on it to show it full so full screen, but when you're on this page, oh golly, you can't see a thing. Okay, let me see if I can get it angled just right. Okay, there. Sorry, my light, my videoing light is, is I usually don't have my light on when I'm showing you my screen, but you can scroll down and you'll go past the ads and then down here you'll see the links to the different ebooks and the tangle game those are the three ways if you use any of these three links um, and go to the buy it now those three things are what will um, help support the uh, website so please do In any case, glamour tangling is one that you can use to learn how to embellish your simple tangles and make them something different and special. And this is a couple of the techniques for adding embellishments. Um. I think I'm going to do some stippling in here, like this, and then call it a day. Okay, I think that's beautiful, just the way it is. I like that. Okay, this is Deepy, D-E-E-P-Y. I will maybe put a little bit of, a little bit of shading. I'm gonna do this 
here. Maybe here. I think that's fine. Okay. See what happens. Because that will totally make it look different. Look at that. That's crazy how that makes that look different. The more um, plain your tangle is, the more the shading just completely changes the look. pretty and you know my pen told me my, my tile told me it wanted to be purple so there it is it's in purple and there's DP and I think that's really really pretty and see it doesn't have to look like flames it's however you imagine it to be I saw it as something else and I also could also see it as the pattern right by itself like that could also see it as a dancing lady. Do you see a dancing lady? I do. You could put eyes in there, the legs. I see a dancing lady. But anyway, use your imagination. You know that imagination that you used when you were a kid and you lay on your back and you look up at the clouds? Use that same imagination with your Zentangles. Uh, you'd be surprised what you're gonna come up with. I will see you guys later. And you have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.